Corporate America sucks. Welcome to What? The Worker's Choice for TV shows about music. I'm comrade Chris Strouth and I will take you on a 30 minute march toward the cultural revolution and the rice paddy of alternative rock, pop and roll. Tonight we have three special voices crying out against the tyrannical oppression of the capitalist overlords. Their name is Arm and they're here to smash the bourgeoisie. Remember, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and this here is Arm. goes out to the French boost band and make me wanna fucking puke.
And now Arm and I head off to the roadside inn to just do a little chatting. I think that you'll find it extra double plus good. So does this slacker thing bug you? Are you sick of like, you hear slacker a lot? Uh, slacker? Yeah. About us? Or? Well, no, yeah, about you, man, you're a slacker. <laughs> yeah, we are slackers, though, it's okay. I hear it every day, you know, but we get a job. Well, we got jobs now, so we're... What do you mean slacker? Yeah. Well, it's a Generation X thing. Never you mind, boy. I Generation X, man. Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> No, was, that's old school. That's before my time. <laughs> Speaking of before your time, I can say why. You guys are young, aren't you? Uh, you're what, 30? 34? No, I'm I'm 19. I'll be 19 mm -hmm. soon. And this kid's 18. I'll be 18 soon. It would be kind of nice. You get to play in places that you couldn't go to otherwise. Yeah, but they kick like us out the, after. Yeah, they've been... Yeah. It's kind of like... I have a problem with playing like ID shows because it's kind of supporting the thing we hate because you know we can't go to a lot of good shows because they're ID and then we get people in there for them you know it's like kind of dumb yeah I like shows are cool too because uh, you know if we have a opening slot kids always show up early you know they want to yeah. get down there and be there the whole night and they'll talk to you more too they'll more they I don't know they approach you more and they'll ask yeah. a lot more they're more interested like it's not such a big hang up over who's who and stuff it's been a lot, on the whole, a lot better thing for us, playing all these shows. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Man, cool. <laughs> yeah, all age shows are, uh, all age shows are pretty swell. I'm thinking. So now, uh, okay, it's ten years from now. It's ten years from now. What are you guys doing? What do you want to do? I'll be dead because Nostradamus said the world's going to end in a year anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be playing uh, R.E.M. covers in a saloon somewhere, probably somewhere in Kansas City. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want the band to be big? Do you got, you got like, we just, do you want to be firemen? Do you want to? I want to be a bakery truck driver. A bakery truck driver? Yeah. To dare to dream. <laughs> it's good money. I want to be a photographer. That's what I'm studying, but I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. I, want to, I want to work a day job and sleep a lot. It's kind of cool. Move into a trailer room or something. <laughs> Yeah. Can we plug? Sure. Let's plug. plug away. Let's plug. What should we plug? I'll let you talk right there. Right into that. To <laughs> the viewing audience at home. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? We got a seven inch coming out on Generic Records. That's out of St. <laughs> Cloud by uh, Chris Hennon. He runs the label. And that'll be coming out probably late April, early May. And it's blue vinyl, so it's really cool. What's the song? It's uh, Suddenly Sorry and uh, Anti-Hero. Two songs. Two songs only. Suddenly Sorry backed with Anti-Hero. Available at a local record store near you.
You, my lucky comrade, are watching What? with special guests, Arm. Viva la proletariat! <laughs> so did you guys go to uh, public high school, private high school? Oh, I went public, to public school, man, all the way. What public school did you go to? I went to Wayzata. <laughs> oh, you're one of them rich yuppie boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I come from a pretty wealthy uh, suburb. Yeah. yeah. So naturally, you decided to do the punk rock thing. Yeah, you know, I was born born into it, you know. My dad used to be in a punk rock band, so. Really? Yeah. What uh, what band was your dad in? Oh, Sands they're Christmas. called the uh, Blue Hairs. They're around, like... Minneapolis, early 80s, 1980s. And he grew up in the scene. I was kind of out of it. I was listening to the Cure and R.E.M. and stuff. And <laughs> going to sixth grade, this kid was going to all the good shows. <laughs> wow. So. Just the concept of, yeah, I was listening to the Cure or R.E.M. and going to sixth grade. I feel suddenly very, very old. <laughs> hey. This was timeless, though, man. What? It's such a timeless thing. Oh yeah, but I mean, when I was in sixth grade, I was like listening to Herb Alpert records going, you know, whipped cream, other delights, yeah. Well, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, local bands. Who do you like? We like a lot of the Emerald bands, they're cool bands. And uh, like Guzzard, some friends of ours, giving us a couple of good shows. Actually, a lot of good shows. Smut's a cool band too. Yeah, Smut too, we like them a lot. Smut, they're a good band. Arc Welder. Of course, I like them a lot. Yeah.
And fellow workers, don't forget, if you really enjoy ARM, you can buy their new single out on generic records, Suddenly Sorry, backed with Antihero, available at our local record commune near you. This is your chance to like make, uh, make time, you know, if you want to impress anybody. Cute girl lead singers, this is your chance. Yeah, I really <laughs> love their band, man. Yeah, we like Lily. Lily Liver a lot, too. They're a cool band. We played with them a couple times. Yeah. They're fun to watch. Yeah. They're actually going to be on the show? Yeah. yeah. They're, the, uh, they're the very next episode. Cool. I love that. So you folks at home have something to look forward to. <laughs> Match Daddy-O. Got to throw in one of those Daddy-O's every once in a while. So uh, since, you know, the theme for today is uh, kind of a communism thing, who, uh, who would be either your favorite communist or your favorite Marxist? I don't have any. <laughs> uh, um, I like Karl Marx. He's a good guy. Yeah, I'd say Karl Marx, too. Max communist Weber. Manifest of all the way, man. Good book. Yeah. Communist Marxist that you like a lot? Um, <laughs> Mr. Rogers. He's kind of apolitical on that topic. Well, we'll be just giving you some, uh, some Trotsky to read. I'm a, I'm a Trotskyite yeah, myself. Well. Except for that ice pick thing. Ouch. Oh, got her. <coughs> Ooh, that couldn't have been pleasant at all. Buddy. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a gun. Who would you shoot? Quick. It'd probably be you. <laughs> wow, remind me to have you back on the show now. again. No, man, you're a dead man, man. <laughs> man, you're going down. Isn't that your van? Yeah, I better move that van, huh? Yeah, we better go. I think we might get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Would hate to get towed from the roadside inn. Yeah, good food at the roadside inn too. Oh, good yeah. bagels. Good poor, bagels. Poor service though. I gotta say that poor service. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza and bagels are our specialty. It's the little sign in the window that you don't really see when you come in. I don't think we have anything more to say. I think you're right. We're just filling with witty banter because five minutes must have gone by now. Can we stop talking? I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Thanks. <laughs>
Two legs good, four legs bad. Well, thank you, comrades, for joining us once again on our vigil against the tyranny of the free world. I'd like to thank our special comrades in arm, also those fine folks at Total Music System, a nifty collective. And if you remember, if you want to talk about destruction, don't you know that you can count me out, but it's going to be all right. We'll see you next time on what?